garage sale. Unsaturated hydrocarbons. These guys are the alkenes and alkynes. Alkenes have double bonds, alkynes have triple bonds. They're kind of similar, that's why they're put in the same chapter. And I'm going to show you how to name them. It won't be too tough, hopefully, if you understand how to name the alkanes. So, I'm going to do the first five alkenes here. Now, if they got a double bond, what do you think the first alkene would be called? Is it methane? How about this? I'll draw it to see. Ethene. The first alkene is ethene because you can't have a double bond between two carbons when you only got one carbon. So the first one is called ethene. The second one, what do you think he's called? Propene. Propene. I'm going to have to do the first five. Um, the next one, what do you think he's called? Butane. The difference here, what we're going to run into once we reach the butene, is we have to put a number to tell where the double bond is. Because there's a 1 butene and there's a 2 butene. It's like you're numbering the carbons, but you're also numbering the bonds in between. Let that sink in for a second. Ethene, it doesn't matter. It's always one ethene. Propene, it's always one propene. But do you see the difference between the 2-BT and the 1-BT and the 2-BT? Yeah. So, if I went on to pentene, well, yes, but you can't really have a 3 because it revert back to the 1. So the rule is going to be, you have to tell the location of the double bond, but it's got to be the lowest number. Um, the same is true with the alkynes, which I'll do in a second. Let me just do some pentene. One, two, three, four, five. You can have, let's leave the ages off and make it easier. What do you think his name is? Last name is Pentene. Pentene. One Pentene because it's on, it's the first CC bond. If I ask you to draw two Pentene, it would look like that. Can you have a three Pentene? No. No, because it would really be a two Pentene. See what I'm talking about? It's up to you. If you understand it, you don't have to write this down. Now, the same is true with the alkynes. Like this one here. It's called ethyne. Triple bond. You can also have this. Propine. This sounds really weird. And then once you reach butine, you can have a one butine or a two butine. The only difference is the triple bond name is in Y and E, the double bond it ends in E and E. Any questions on that? We're going we're to name some examples, and I think you'll find it's easier than what you've done before. Oh. Uh huh? Are the alkynes like are they name the the same like the one and the two because that is fine? Everything's the same, yeah. <coughs> so I'm going to chunk this. Y'all do it. Yes. Okay. And let's put some side groups on them to make it a little more fun. Alright, let's say we got this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll put a dome on there and I'll put a couple of BRs here. I'm gonna leave the H's off so it'll be easier to see. And I'm gonna try to go slow. There's six carbons. Double bond is right here. If I gave you rules, which I think I'm just going to give you examples to list your rules because most of the rules are the same. The number one rule is you start from the side the double bond is closest to. So that means this is number one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the name of this guy is going to be five, six, Bromo, one hexane. I'll get out of the way so you can think about that. 
you would be thinking it should be one two dibroma because you're trained to go where the side groups are. Now I have to untrain you until you go where the double blind is. Ask me any questions on that. So it's always going to be. So you're always going to start like you What if it's in the middle? If it's in the middle, then you revert to the alkane rules and go and start from this side. And, you know, conceivably it could be in the middle and you could have like two BRs here and two here and it could be the same answer two ways. Um, I won't give you any that have two confusing answers. We just want to get the foundation of this. Some do have two names. Let's do another So, you know you got to start from the side that the thing is closest to. What if we had one, two, three, four, five, triple one here. Um, <coughs> that. What do you think his name is? One, two, three, four, five. That's two hexons. Two hexons. I was just doing a trick on you. Because you still have to go with the longest chain. And the longest chain is this, but I have that methyl down there, which is part of the chain. So you don't call it a methyl. Now, if this had been a, a chlorine, you would have called it 5 chloro 2 pentine. Should I even go there? We'll do it. Okay. You got this. Let's make it a chlorine. And now the name is. Start from this side because it's the closest up here. Now it would be 5, 4, 2, 10 times. I'm confused by the endings. Okay, the, the winding, yeah. if it's a triple, it's a winding, always. For today, always. If it's a double, it's an ending. And you do it exactly the same way, whether it's an ending or an iron. Nine minutes. Oh, okay, a minute? Yeah. Uh, okay, let me finish this one quick. Um, so you got that. You can't ever have like a three something. Three something. Like a three hexon. And I think you could a three hexon. Okay. Okay, so this one, long chain is this. Okay, I thought you could. 